But what is more difficult to understand is how the useful idiots amongst the so-called liberal classes, uh, the chatterati, who would normally be found on the side of whistleblowers, except when they're shopping them to the police and breaking up their hard disks, if you get my drift. Uh, how they have first abandoned, then turned on Julian Assange, shows them for what they really are, the conservative and liberal, two cheeks of the same backside, who in the end are loyal to the uh, state we're in. When, as Dr. Cynthia was just saying, we'll never get out of the state we're in until we change the state we're in. And my goodness, Julian Assange has shown plenty of both. Absolutely. And I think your point about, about the fact that he is bearing so much weight on behalf of everyone else, whether it's the whistleblowers that come to WikiLeaks or the public that benefits from the information they publish, he is, he is bearing the, you know, the, the truth on his back. And, and, he, and, and he's the one, the one who's paying that price. The rest of us are at home uh, with our families uh, and uh, enjoying life. And I, there's not a day goes by when I don't think of this Calvary, which uh, Julian is trapped in. Uh, and there's not a day in which indignation doesn't rise in my throat at the, at the uh, situation that he finds himself in.